W1VLF. Well, it's a winter day. Gloomy as all hell outside. I got a fire going, so I thought I might try and do a video. Oh. So, <clears throat> what we have here is a HP generator at 7.1 megahertz, minus 50 dBm output. We have a mini circuit splitter. So, the receiver comes, I mean, the uh, generator comes in here. This is one output, the other output. And they both go up to the SDR Duo here in the patch panel. And here is the SDR Duo. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be experimenting with SDR Connect and the diversity reception, which since we have two signals that are both coming from the generator in phase, because we're using the splitter, um, and just see how good the uh, diversity or nulling uh, capability is of this particular um, program compared to SDR Uno. They've made some really, really good improvements. And uh, I'm going to jump over to the computer screen now and we'll go through some of, uh, some of that. Stand by. Okay, so W1VLF here and we're over at the computer. I am running uh, preview two of SDR Connect. It's running with my RSP Duo. And as I showed just a second ago, both inputs are uh, equal in amplitude and they're coming from the uh, HP um, RF generator. And um, I'm not gonna uh, show a whole bunch about setting all, the, all of this up, but I, I really just want, well, I'll show a little bit, okay? So in order to get into the diversity mode, you need to open up the, uh, the gear menu here, settings, turn on diversity, and set your uh, span to something that you can see. Uh, but the important, the important part, and then also, of course, go down here and turn on diversity down here. Um, and then you'll you'll pop open this window here and you'll see this phaser diagram with amplitude and also um, phase so you know rotate it in phase or change it in amplitude so what I'm gonna do here is I have a 7.1 megahertz carrier coming out of the RF generator and we have a minus 50.2 uh, Sophie just came in the room here that's that's my dog say hello Sophie say hi Come here. okay good uh, anyhow so what you can see on this on the say um, the SDR connect here in the window is just a single carrier okay well actually you'll see a little bit of stuff way down here by the baseline and that's those are artifacts uh, coming out of the generator but what we're interested in doing here is we're gonna try by changing the amplitude and the phase to cancel the signal and just see how much how much uh, attenuation or cancellation effect there is and the way we'll be able to tell in db is because i've got the meter set to uh plus 20 here and we have a reasonably round number here of of minus 50 dbm so uh, if we got to uh minus 100 that would be a 50 db notch um and they've given us some some really nice controls over here, the guys at SDR Connect. So uh, kudos to them. Um, I, some of you, if you've watched the channel before, might have uh, seen I did this with SDR Uno. And one of the things it'll become apparent here as well is that just adjusting this phaser control and a phaser and amplitude control with with your mouse. Um, is a little bit difficult to get the optimum null. So they've rectified that and, and in a really, really great way. So let's all just recall we're starting off here at minus 50. Uh, and I'm going to start rotating this to try to find a phase and an amplitude null. And let's see what we can do. All right. So you grab a hold of the little red circle and you rotate it. And well, I found a uh, about an 8 dB null there. So let's uh, 
let's try pushing it in a little bit, change the amplitude. Okay. So now we're down, uh, I don't know, 18 dB or so, and we can move the amplitude in and out, and we can move the phase. But this is where it gets to be kind of iffy because I can't move the mouse in great enough detail to, to like you saw I went right past a really nice null there so we're gonna get it close and we're just gonna leave it there I'm not gonna touch this section anymore I'm gonna leave that right where it is and here's where they made a huge improvement and I am just uh, ecstatic about this so we're down from minus 50 we're down minus 27 and a half DB so how can I move this you know, without having the shakiness in my hand and the, um, uh, you know, the inability of the resolution in the mouse to try to null this ca this carrier, uh, you know, even further. So let's down here. You have an amplitude window, and you also have a phase window, and you can step these up uh, in small increments. And if you go up to the under diversity here, you have settings. And I'm going to set these both back to the default setting. Uh, you can have these disabled if you like. Uh, let's see, disabled. And that means you shouldn't be able to, well, it, I don't know if that's exactly true. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to set these to their minimum, uh, to their, 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 their cr most crude step or the, the greatest value step. And we're going to take a look at this, which is sitting at minus 87 over here. And we're going to start adjusting this. This is going to let me adjust, adjust phase, excuse me, phase and amplitude independently. And so here, so here we go. I'm going to start I'm moving this. And obviously, I'm going in the wrong direction with the amplitude. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click, keep clicking. And I jumped over the minimum spot. Um, so what, in the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the phase and see if I can get a better null using the phase. And I'm going in the wrong direction. So I'm going to reverse it and keep watching it until it minimizes out, which is was right about there. And now I'm going to go back to amplitude again. Let me just get rid of these digits here because we're not going to be using those. Oop, and I lost it. I hit the wrong button. So we'll start again. Okay, so there's some there's there's a reasonable null. Now we're going to go back and use the actual digits here. Okay. There's there's my amplitude null in one one unit steps and let's go into uh, phase now and okay as we hold this down phases you know the phase is changing and the amplitude of the carrier is dropping so let's go back and adjust the amplitude now okay you can see that between that one point one degree step and that one there's a big difference so what I'm going to do is go up to diversity and I'm going to change the amplitude step to 0.01. Now we'll be able to move. Oh, we got uh, phone calls coming in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll be able to move this digit in 0.01 increments. And if we want, OK, now now instead of going scooting right past, I can click and get the amplitude you know much closer so now we're down to 99 we started at 50 um, minus 50 so we're at about a 50 DB null right now is that right minus 50 to, to 49 minus 100 so now we'll go back to phase and see if we can get it any closer and now the phase increments make a huge difference now we're down minus 107 so let's go back again to and and remember here's the deal you you couldn't do this by hand it's just you're just way too uh, unstable for that so let me uh, let's go up here whoop okay and now I'm I'm down to the point where I'm on either side of of the null and I'm gonna move the amplitude out one more step 
to the uh, point zero zero one, and now I can get it even closer. Okay, that's going the wrong direction. Oop, excuse me, too far. Oh, I'm going continuing to go in the wrong direction. Okay, so now we're down to a minus 107. And let's try phase a little bit more. Now phase is making a big difference. You're really trying to optimize these. So the next step is to go up here and change the phase step with something with a little finer resolution. Okay, going in the wrong direction. Down to about a minus 107. Now we're down even lower. Oop. And I could go to a ridiculous uh, level here if we let that settle off. So what we're seeing here is roughly a, and by the way, this is an artifact in the RF generator that I that is not uh, being canceled because it's at a different frequency. So with a with a, a phase coherent signal, I can see around 60 dB of attenuation. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this back out and I'm going to go back to the maximum signal, which should be somewhere up in this direction, which is 180 degrees out. And you can see there we are with our minus minus 50 signal. So again, real quick, um, let's bring it around the phase around the phase. Excuse me, the phase around the amplitude. And I can't hold. I can't make it get any better than that because of the resolution of mouse. Again, we'll go in here. We're going to change these steps back to uh, 0.1 and 0.1 and okay and even at this level the 0.1 is kind of coarse but we'll we'll go with it and we'll do the phase again let's let's do the amplitude step a little higher resolution. Wrong. And you can see by by the the steps that the the uh, software developer gave here, you have incredible control. Uh, I'm not going to try to do uh, get it. Well, I will, I, let's see. Maybe I will try to get it all the way down to uh, 60 dB again. There it is. Pretty impressive, though. And I I want to have a shout out to the guys who who wrote this stuff because uh, this is this is really fantastic. So why is this so important? Well, if you have a noise source that's uh, consistent. And, and relatively coherent, you can use one antenna or one input of the RSP Duo as a noise uh, collection device, and the other as your your RF collection device, and phase them together and minimize the noise. So anybody interested could go back and look at uh, the one I did with SDR Uno and how difficult it was to gain this type of a, of a notch. Um, so again, Fantastic for the guys who uh, are writing SDR to Connect, John uh, Hudson and Andrew and, and all the guys. Thank you very much. This is W1VLF signing off.